What you're listening to is Dizzy Gillespie's Things to Come, one of the more technically difficult and fast-paced songs of the big band jazz era. This rendition isn't performed by a professional big band, but by a group of high school students. This collection of extraordinarily talented young musicians makes up the Jazz House Kids Big Band. For the second year in a row, Julius and the Jazz House Kids placed second behind the same winners as last year. All the kids, the band directors, this is a, a lot of people are part it's of a this. Collaboration. The communities, the principals, the parents, everybody is a part of it. And yeah, I feel proud to be a part of it. I feel, I feel great that it's Duke's music. This is actually a, a bronze cast of a piece she created on Picasso. And one of the things you'll see with um, the face and some of the features is that even though her work tends to be kind of rough hewn, yeah. she always seems to capture something essential about her subject. And so you see, it's clearly Picasso. It's clearly Picasso. Marisol's eye seems to enhance scenes that we're all familiar with. What she does, I think, is bring something of herself and in that sense, she really stretches the, the idea of pop art. But it's not just the food, it's also the gorgeous design. Our chef is inspired by that which he sees in the garden, that which he sees in the galleries, and it's constantly changing. You know, we, we do look at the restaurant even as, as a curated uh, exhibition. The food, as I said before, I mean, we approach it from very much from a craft point of view. And we're craftspeople, but there are periods, points in time, where the food is able to transcend that. You know, and all that craft that goes into it, the execution of it, makes it possible. I'm Magali Laguerre Wilkinson for Arts in the City. Inside the Neu Gallery, a museum dedicated to German and Austrian fine art, is Café Sabarski, a restaurant specializing in Austrian desserts, snacks, and coffee. We gave New York something what uh, I believe didn't exist before. We gave in New York a Viennese coffee house, a place where you hang out, meet friends, have coffee, have breakfast, have a little lunch dish. And I think we did this very, very well. I think it's, it's, it's a really a combination of putting you back to Vienna. <laughs> 